Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. This is your brother, Sean Ali, here at Supreme Health and Fitness by Sean Ali. And I thank you all for tuning in and giving me some of your valuable time. And as always, I pray that this brief message is received in the spirit that I'm striving to deliver it in, which is the spirit of your brother, which is the spirit of love, and of course, in all ways in the spirit, in the name of God. So family, I just wanna briefly talk about oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. And this is my very enlightening and groundbreaking and scientific book, examining oxygen and the importance of oxygen and the importance of breathing and how that is the catalyst between life and death. And by that, I mean, no matter what, no matter what type of diet a person is on, no matter what type of disease or illness, no matter your health status, if you fall out right now, somebody will try to use oxygen, the breath of life to resuscitate you. So that made me take a look at the role of oxygen and the importance of oxygen. Now, as human beings, we have three functions that we must do in order to live. That is, we must breathe, we must eat, and we must drink. Now, out of, three, out of these three life functions, that's what I call them, life functions, we can go some people three to five weeks without food before their body starts to suffer. Some people can go three to seven to even 10 days without water before their body starts to suffer. But they have science where they have shown one minute without breathing destroys brain cells that will not be repaired. Listen to me. So now, they say by the age of five, 95% of the population is breathing wrong. What does this mean? Because when I say that, people usually tell me I'm breathing right now. Yes, you are. But if we don't understand our respiratory system, then we end up breathing wrong. And since many of us are, we learn our breathing habits as babies by watching the guardians or those that are raising us. So when we see them doing <sighs> and all of these other movements as babies, as children, we mimic them. And this causes us to breathe wrong. Because you got, see now, your respiratory system consists of your nose, your nasal cavities, your sinuses going down into your trachea, which is at the front of your throat, going down to your bronchial tubes, going down into your lungs. You see, that's your respiratory, that's our respiratory system. Now, in our, in our throats, and I covered this in my book, in our throats, we have two passages. You have your bronchial, you have your trachea, and you have your back, which your mouth is connected to, your esophagus. Now, your mouth is connected to your esophagus, connected to your stomach. That's your GI tract. That's your... Uh, um your digestive system, but your mouth is not connected to your lungs. Listen to, listen, family. This is, this is your esophagus and the trachea is cartilage. The trachea is, this is your trachea going down into your bronchial tubes, going into your lungs to bring in, to bring in and inhale and exhale the oxygen. So your mouth is connected to your esophagus. So when at the top, you have a little piece of cartilage 
that sits and it separates your esophagus from your trachea. So because if, like I said, if you if you pass out or if you see somebody that you think is dead, you are going to go give them mouth to mouth resuscitation to revive them. So your mouth, it is an emergency valve. That so if somebody needs resuscitation, you and I have the ability to resuscitate each other and extend our life. Listen now, because I need. If you drink one soda a week, if you eat a piece of meat a week or a piece of candy a week, but breathe every breath wrong, it's not the food or the drink that causes your disease or your sickness or your death. It is the fact that every breath you take is wrong. So they have what's known as cellular oxidation. That is the death of the cell. The number one cause of cellular oxidation is lack of oxygen. It's being oxygen deficient. How do you be oxygen deficient if you are breathing right now? Listen to me. If you are breathing right now, how do you become oxygen deficient? See? So I looked at this and I examined our respiratory system. And in my scientific and medical research, I have discovered that oxygen is the breath of life in atomic form. Listen, family. So also in my book, I address, this is, this is the science on mouth breathing. Look. They call this horse face syndrome. This is you breathing normally. This is the same little boy breathing with his mouth. See, look at look right here at this little girl. You see how the mouth is deformed? They call that horse face or long face syndrome. See, when you breathe, because we are living, our body is created to adapt and, uh, and transform accordingly. So when you breathe with your mouth, you change the shape of your face. And they call it horse face syndrome. So when you see somebody with that shape, that it means that they are breathing wrong. Man. They have cellular oxidation, fam. This is when the cell, the DNA, the mitochondria of the cell, the nucleus of the cell becomes oxidized or rusty, or it starts to die because of lack of oxygen. And when this cell starts to die, this is an unnatural death. And that sometimes the body does not know how to deal with that. And this will cause what they call a free radical. Now, a free radical is no mystery on what a free radical is. Everything is atoms, family. So when you're dealing with atoms, you're dealing with the nucleus. Excuse me, family. You're dealing with the nucleus which is the proton and neutron, and you're dealing with the electron shell. Now, the last shell of the electron has to be an even number. So in, in the case of an atom or oxygen, it is eight. It has eight electrons on its outer shell. Now, a free radical is an atom that loses one of its electrons in an unnatural fashion, and it creates a free radical. Then this atom is still alive, but it wants to get back its missing electron. So it goes, and it tries to find 
the weakest atom that it could steal one from in your body. And when it steals it, it keeps growing. And this is a free radical. And the atom that it stole the electron from is a free radical. And now you have a chain reaction of cellular death. You have a chain reaction of your body dying and feeding and turning itself into death in the number one cause, the number one cause of free radicals, of cellular oxidation is oxygen, is a lack of oxygen or a state of being oxygen deficient. So in the book, The Breath of Life in Atomic Form. When you look at the cover of this book, these, this, is, this is how the oxygen molecule looks. You have two oxygen atoms bonded together. In this bond, in the bond of these two atoms is the energy, is the energy, is the force and power of God. See, when you... When we breathe in that oxygen, our lungs, when this oxygen molecule gets to our lungs, our lungs diffuse it and break that bond. And when that bond is broken, the force and power of God that he used, when he says that God created man, fashioned man from black mud and breath into man, and then man became a living soul. The same way if you are trying to give mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to somebody, when you put the, your oxygen molecules in their lungs, and their lungs break apart those atoms and release that energy, that energy is the spark of life. Listen. <laughs> That's the spark of life, man. When you go to the hospital, see, they will hook you up to oxygen because they know and understand that almost everybody is breathing wrong. So they also know and understand that the root cause of a majority of your sicknesses, of your diseases, of your illness, the root cause of your death. is on if you are breathing as created or not. Your mouth is not connected to your lung. Your mouth is connected to your anus. Your mouth goes down your esophagus, to your stomach, to your intestines, and out your rear end. <laughs> See, I say your mouth is connected to your esophagus that goes to your stomach, that goes through your intestines and out your rear end. Your mouth is a one-way street. You have no filters in your mouth. The air is dirty, man. It's some, it's, look at California with all of that smog. The air is dirty. You got dust mites. You got skin dander. You shed every day. They said that the dust in your house is 90% skin. So you have no filter in your mouth. In your nose, you got hairs. You got mucus. You got a nasal cavity. So when you breathe through your nose as created, the hairs grab the dust in the skin. And it goes through your mucus. And your mucus is a filter. And as it's going through the nasal cavities, it's being warmed and it's being purified because the inside of your body is a constant 98.6 degrees. So your nose prepares the breath of life to give you life. So by the time this air goes down into your trachea and down, 
into your bronchial tubes and dispersed into your lungs, you have a clean, pure, warm breath of life. Listen, heart disease, the number one killer. So when you breathe through your mouth, you have no filter. So you swallow skin dander. You swallow pollution. You swallow the acid that's in the air. You're swallowing the cigarette smoke. Listen now, look. You're swallowing all of the car fumes. Now you got tonsillitis, lung, look, throat cancer. Listen now, you got bronchitis. Now you got asthma. Now listen, you force this to your lungs. You force this cold, dirty air to your lungs. So now you got lung cancer. The first beat of your heart is called the pulmonary circuit. The pulmonary circuit. Your heart sends blood to your lungs to be filled up with the breath of life. Then it comes back to your heart and then your heart pumps this newly oxygenated blood throughout your body, starting through the left side. So now you have just swallowed dirty air. The lungs are dirty. This heart sends blood to your lungs and it comes back polluted in the first organ that gets this polluted blood is your heart. So now you have heart problems. See? Now you got a heart disorder. So the first place that this heart pumps, the dirty blood is out your left side. So when you have a heart attack, you feel it here in your left side first. The breath of life, oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. I just want, listen, this book is, I wrote this after I can, I seen majority of my nieces and nephews are on a breathing tree. And I couldn't understand this because me and their mothers and fathers, my brothers and sisters, we didn't grow up needing any breathing tree. So I had to take a look at what was going on. And then, like I said, in the scientific research, I discovered that we had been tricked and misled into breathing wrong. So now you got people that eat healthy. You got people that exercise. You got people that pray. You got people that go to church, go to the mosque, but they still can't live. But they still can't crack a hundred. They still getting cancer. They still getting colds and diseases. They still growing old. See, we have three life functions. If you eat right and drink right, but don't breathe right, you will die before 75. Your body cannot live longer than 75 years without you breathing right because your cells start to oxidize. They become rusty. They die. And as the cell dies, it triggers a domino effect. So when the cell dies, the tissue dies. When the tissue dies, the organ dies. When the organ dies, the system dies. And when the system dies, the whole body, it can't live no longer. It, it shuts down and you call it death. And you will try to put oxygen back in them to keep them alive. Oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. Family. 
this is look this is a this is a diagram this is your brain breathing as created this is your brain at one minute this is your brain one minute of breathing wrong through your mouth listen i want us i'm trying to as your brother we have these of look my book is available this is not a novel this is a science book so i can try to show you and i how to breathe see how to live how your body is created by god to live so you can live so you can heal so you can be healthy so you can be alive so you can be powerful don't you see when them chinese people before they go into their martial arts they practice their breathing because the breath is the breath of life that's the force and power of god and if you can have your breathing as created you are powerful enough to put your hand through a brick you can make your skin strong enough that a knife can't cut it man, Woo man look family it's available right now oxygen the breath of life in atomic form it's available right now i cannot control the prices on amazon or any other create space so i have my own website www.shawnalewellnessprogram.com we have them available we have a press shipment in it we have we have a, a um see we we got them we got them we got them on deck see so if you order we we not it's not a two week delay. We got you. We got copies available right now. And if you get this science in your life, it will show you how to breathe properly because we do have breathing exercises included. And it's not hard to breathe right. It's no such thing as exhaling out your mouth. Before I leave, I just want to leave with this. Exhale is just as important as the inhale because on the inhale, your body is bringing in the breath of life. Your body on the exhale, our bodies use the breath of life. That's when the gas exchange happens on the exhale. So we must understand that when you breathe out your mouth, that's poison. When, when you the exhale is the waste that's the poison so if you breathe that poison out your mouth you destroy your teeth you destroy your taste buds you destroy your tonsils you destroy your digestive system gum disease cavity see when you see somebody with dry lips that means they are breathing and that air is running over their lips, stripping the moisture. <laughs> Woo, family. Man, I thank everybody for tuning in and giving me some of your valuable time. As your brother here at Supreme Health and Fitness, I just want us to know that we have solutions. We have three life functions. You breathe, you eat, and you drink. You can go up to 30 to 40 days without food before your body starts to deteriorate. You can go up to 10 days without water before your body starts to suffer. They got one minute, one minute, every minute that you breathe wrong. You every minute that you use your mouth to breathe, you are taking years off your life. I'm not exaggerating because the human potential, our life potential, our lifespan, it should extend into the several hundred 
years. If you go dig up a body, the body does not deteriorate overnight. So if it takes your body longer to deteriorate, then you lived in it. That means you didn't do something right because you are designed. See, this is almost indestructible. You have to destroy it. And the number one way we destroy our body is by breathing wrong. We create cellular oxidation. We are killing our own cells. They call it a rusty cell. Do a Google research. Research what wrinkles are. They call wrinkles rusty cells. That's a sign that your cells are dying, that you are you are in a oxygen deficient state. So I thank everybody for tuning in. Please, the book is available right now. I cannot control the prices on Amazon or Create Space. If you get it through my website, they are significantly lower in price less expensive than on amazon but they are available on amazon so family this is the science for you and i to understand oxygen the breath of life in atomic form and that molecule in that bond in that bond it bonds these two oxygen atoms together to form the molecule of oxygen in that bomb is the force, is the energy that when God breathed into us his spirit, that right there, that is, oh, woo! That's why when somebody is dead, you use the breath of life to try to resuscitate them. Man. So, family, I thank everybody. For tuning in, and I, I pray that this brief message was received in the spirit that I'm that I was striving to deliver it in, which is the spirit of your brother, the spirit of love, and of course, and always in the spirit and in the name of God. Put your hand on your stomach. See, you we gotta understand our respiratory system. So you have your nose, you have your hairs, your mucus, your nasal cavities going down into your trachea, going down into your bronchial tubes, going into your lungs. And right underneath your rib cage, you have what's called the diaphragm. So the, the, none of these are muscles. Your lungs are not muscles. They are like balloons. They just inflate and deflate, they, but they they are they have to be caused. So when you if you put your hand on your chest and your chest move, they that is called chest breathing. That is called shallow breathing. You are not getting a full inhalation, a full breath of life. That means your lungs are not fully expanded. Now, your diaphragm, it sits right under your rib cage. When your stomach moves out, it lowers the diaphragm. When the diaphragm is lowered, that causes your lungs to expand fully. And when your stomach comes back in, it pushes your diaphragm up and it deflates, causing the exhale. So that's how you get a full, deep breath of life. Man, it's all in the book. It's all in the book, family. It's all in the book. I thank you all for tuning in and giving me some of your valuable time. It's, it's my honor and my privilege to come before my people with some of my humble wisdom. And like I say, I just pray that it was of use to you, and I pray that you can apply it and help heal yourself if you need healing, to help get yourself healthy. 
and to help imbue yourself with life so that you can make manifest your power and say be and it become because you are God. Woo! I thank you. I leave you as I came. In the greeting words of peace, in the greeting words of the gods, man, get your book available right now. Assalamu alaikum. Hotel, black power, power to the people, peace family. I love you.